We've made a few changes to the Reba Network Supplier homepage for standard accounts to modernize the look and feel and add customization options to bring you a simpler portal experience. In this video, I will cover three main topics. First, I'll go through what's new in the homepage and navigation. Then, I'll show you how to find your orders and view your invoices. And last, I'll talk about the new transaction workbench and how you can configure it so you can get to complete your tasks more efficiently. You will first notice the new icons on the top right-hand side of your navigation bar. The Help icon here brings up the new Web Assistant. With the new Web Assistant, you can search for help articles, take guided tours for the page you're on, see what's new, access product documentation, or contact support. Clicking on the Support button will take you to the Help Center, where you can find learning content, buyer-specific information portals, or submit technical issues to support. You can open or close Web Assistant by clicking on this Expand button below. The Settings icon is where you will now find your user account settings, as well as your company account and network settings. The Create button is where you can go to create a non-PO invoice. The More button replaces documents in the classic portal. Here, you can find options for document uploads and PDF invoice. On your main navigation bar, you will notice two new menu items, Workbench and Catalogs. Workbench takes you to the new transaction Workbench, which I'll talk about later. Catalogs is a feature recently added to the Reba Network standard account. You can now upload a static catalog or configure a punch-out catalog. Clicking on this navigation item will take you through a few steps to get started. The Messages navigation item takes you through the Message Center. This is the same as in the classic portal. However, note that in the new portal, the Message Center pop-up is no longer available at the bottom right of your screen. The next topic I'm going to cover is how to get to your orders and invoices. You may be looking for your list of orders on the homepage as you have in the classic portal. You can now get to this view by clicking on the orders tile. The tiles on your homepage show you accounts of your relevant documents. These tiles make up what we call your overview bar. Clicking on a tile will take you to the transaction workbench. Below the highlighted tile, you will see a list of your documents based on its filter criteria. In this example, a list of new orders with a default criteria of creation date within the last 90 days. You can filter and search for your orders by clicking on Edit Filter. You can filter by customer, order number, creation date, and more. Click Apply to run the filter. You previously had an option to view your last 200 documents. In the new portal, you can now instead filter on creation date and select last 365 days. Once you find the order you're looking for, you can flip this into an invoice by first sending a copy to yourself via email. To do this in the new supplier portal, simply head to the Actions column, click on More, and send me a copy to take action. To see your invoices, go to the Invoices tile. You will see a list of your most recent invoices and invoice status below. Click on More and send me a copy to take action. You can also go to the Rejected Invoices tile to see any invoices that have rejected ASER status. The last topic I want to discuss is how to customize your transaction workbench. Earlier in this video, I talked about how you can get to your work list in the transaction workbench. Once you've selected the filter criteria for your tile, click Apply to see the results. You can save the filter setting for this tile and give it your own description to get to this exact same view much faster the next time you log in. In addition, you can create multiple tiles for the same document type. For example, you can create order tiles for each of your key customers or order tiles based on creation date. You can create, customize, and add up to 25 tiles in the workbench for the way you work. You can also customize the layout of your documents table by clicking on the settings icon. From here, you can drag and drop column titles to display or hide them. The export icon exports the table into a spreadsheet so you can view your document list offline. If needed, you can go back to the old portal by clicking on the Back to Classic View link which is either at the top of your navigation bar or within your user settings. 
The last change you may notice is the SAP Business Network branding on the supplier login page as well as in the top left corner of your new homepage and workbench. You'll continue to see Ariba Network on all other network pages, network documents, documentation, and health materials. This change doesn't impact your ANAD, your login credentials, processes, transactions, or accounts. It is part of the SAP Business Network strategy to introduce a unified network, improve collaboration, and provide you with all new insights. We hope you found this video useful.